Dear learners, we welcome you all to this MOOC on Sociology of Health and Illness. Friends, we all know that India is a nation which is blessed with enormous natural resources that is essential for a nation's prosperity. But the most essential resources possessed by India, which still remains untapped and poorly developed, is none other than the human resource. Today, development is the key target of our nation which is clearly spelt out by different thinkers as well as policy makers. However, a nation can develop only with the prosperity and well-being of all its citizens. In order to effectively contribute towards the nation's richness, every individual must possess a healthy body and mind. Now, while talking about health, there are several approaches to understand it like the biomedical, psychological, ecological, and the sociological approach. The sociological approach to health asserts that health is a result of social and cultural practices of a society. This approach intends to map the complex relationship between structural factors and personal choice in relation to health inequality. So to eliminate inequalities in the health status, identifying and Removing the social inequalities is an imperative. This MOOC will enable the learners to analyze the healthcare institutions and organizations, the actions and interactions of medical health professionals and its impact on the experience of the patients. In other words, this course is concerned with providing the learners with an understanding about the organizational structure, role relationships, rituals and functions in the healthcare practices as a system of social behavior. Moving to the eligibility criteria, any learner who have completed their 10 plus 2 or graduation in any discipline is eligible to opt this course. Learners who are opting for a generic elective program under the CBCS mode may also opt for this course. Finally, the lifelong learners who are interested to learn new things may also opt this course. This MOOC will be a certificate course of 12 weeks duration and the four quadrant approach will be used while providing the learners the contents. The medium of instruction will be English. There will be 12 modules with two to three units under each module. For each module, Learning material will be provided in the form of e-text, PPTs, audio-visual lectures, tutorials, etc. Discussion forum MCQs as self-assessment questions will also be part of each module. 30 marks will be allocated for internal assessment comprising assignment, weekly quizzes, discussion forum and other activities. And 70 marks will be allocated for external proctored examination that will be conducted by the host institution at the designated exam centers. A minimum 40% passing mark will be required in internal as well as external assessment for being eligible for the certificate. Successful learners shall be given e-certificates. We are hopeful that the learners intending to do higher education or research in the direction of community health and social welfare as well as individuals engaged in policy making or implementing policies related to community health will benefit from this course. Further, the certificate that will be provided after the successful completion of the course will also provide the learners with an impetus while applying for various jobs related to community health and social welfare. Thank you.